eating fruits just because you have a appointment you know what i mean just because you have an appointment you want to up and eat pineapples no hello everyone welcome welcome back to my channel my name is bettina and in today's video i'll be telling you guys all about feminine hygiene and how you can level up as a female for 2023 so without further ado let's get right into this video so I have my notes right here so I don't miss out or forget anything and before I start I just want to say your body is your temple so you have to take care of it because if you don't then who will you have to take care of your body both inside and out. So first we're going to start with in the shower. First thing we need a soap to cleanse our body. We need, we need a soap to clean our body. Me personally I use two soap. I use a bar soap and a body wash to clean my body. For my bar soap, I use Dial. This is the only bar soap I know use for my body. Every single time when I hop in the shower, it's the first thing I use, the yellow one. This is the antibacterial one. So for body washes, I know I have two body washes that I'm using right now. First is the Dr. Barnes Baby Pure Castile Soap. And I'm using Method Body, Body Wash in Decent, Coconut and Rice Milk. I also use the Dr. Bonnet's baby soap to clean my lady parts as well because it is unscented and I am a firm believer that you should be washing your downstairs area with soap, unscented soap, not anything scented because you know you go throughout the day, you sweat, you probably be on your period, you need something that will clean the outside part of your vagina other than just water. So I use unscented soap down my lady parts. If you are the type that will use just water and it works for you, that's fine as well. But me personally, I just cannot clean my lady parts with just water alone. I have to use a soap, especially the behind. I don't play when it comes to my behind area. I want to make sure that it's very fresh and clean when I get out the shower. What I do is that I take the soap, I pour it because it, this ladder is... This is very soapy, so you don't have to use a lot of amount. I use a small amount and I pour it on my washcloth, bend down in the shower, put one foot up on the, the bathtub, bend all the way down in the shower and scrub my behind for at least 30 seconds to a minute. Then I rinse and do it again, twice. I do it twice on my behind because that's your butt crack. You do number two when you go to the toilet and you, you just want to make sure that it's very clean when you're in the shower and for my lady parts i do the same thing as well for my girlies that has you know like that roof part of your clitoris you can lift up that skin part and wash it with warm water and with the guys that will pull back the skin to wash the the head part of their penis we can remove we can lift the roof part of our clitoris and Wash it with warm water. I wouldn't suggest using soap because I don't want it to get deep down in there and burn and all those stuff. Just use warm water, clean that part. But for the the rest of the vagina, you use a unscented soap and water because that roof part can trap moisture and odor and all those stuff, and we don't want that. Now for my scrubs, these are the scrubs that I'm using right now. One is the whipped body scrub. This is the one. Then I have Find Your Happy Place Body Scrub. It's very similar to Dove. Also, I have the Orange Ginger Detox Body Scrub by the brand Nature's Beauty. I don't use these every day. I use it probably two, three times a week. What I actually use every day is my dry brush. I can use it all the shower or when I'm in the shower. It's good for your blood flow and just overall get rid of any dead skin on your body. Not rough when i just started using it it was me but now i'm used to it and it's not rough on my skin anymore this is a exfoliating cloth this is on more on the thicker side and it stretched is very long so you can use it to scrub it back now for my girlies who shave instead of wax because we we all know wax is painful for those who actually shave in the shower I suggest you use a five blade razor. Now this is very affordable. I think I got it at um, the store, stop and shop for like under $3. 
So this is a five day razor. I use a five day razor because one, my hair, my hair is thick. Two, I don't want any razor burns. Three, and it prevents less razor bumps. Use this to shave my legs, my arms, my butt crack, my vagina. I use this to shave. And my legs, when I'm shaving my legs, I see. I saw this video on TikTok where this girl said that whenever she's shaving her legs, she shave it up and down, like she will shave it down and then bring the razor back up to remove the hairs from the razor, and then she will continue to do that. So while she is shaving, the hair is removing off the razor at the same time. Sometimes I don't want to go completely bald I just want to make sure that it's very groomed down there you can use your scissors to clip the hairs as low as possible time I'm being lazy and I don't feel like shaving I would just use a scissors not scissors that you use on your actual head or anywhere else on your body a clean scissors to trim down your lady parts but for body care body lotion what I'm using right now is the Nivea 24 hour body lotion. This is what it looks like. It feels amazing. It keeps your skin moisturized all day. Deodorant, I use dry sprays. That is antiperspirant. We know that antiperspirant stops sweat. That causes odor. You want to invest in at least one or two perfumes. One that you will be wearing on special occasions, others that you will wear on an everyday basis. And also body spray. I'm using the Vanilla by Body Fantasy, the scent Vanilla. That smells amazing. It lasts for a good amount of time. If you want it to last longer, you can apply Vaseline on your warm spots like your neck, your arms, behind your legs, and then you spray your body spray on those areas and it will last for a while because you know body spray or perfume and oil combined it will last for a long period of time so if you want your body spray to last for a while that's a little trick that you can use for it to do so so when i shave my lady parts and i get out of the shower i use a oil whether it be coconut or olive oil, right now I'm using olive oil on my lady parts to keep it moisturized because you know you you're, you're freshly shaved and down there can be a look a little bit ashy. Pour olive oil in this small container and I will apply it on the top, not inside of your vagina, the outside of your vagina. I just use that to keep it moisturized and also in my butt crack as well because I do shave there as well so i keep there moisturized as well you can also use coconut oil if you don't want to use olive oil but i personally use olive oil down those areas now for body oil right now i'm using the up and up body oil very similar to neutrogena body oil when i get out the shower i apply it to my skin first then apply lotion over it to seal the moisture or I mix it with the lotion and apply both to my skin at once. For vitamins, so that you're taking vitamins daily, every single day. These are the vitamins I'm using right now. So for vitamin C, it helps support the, the immune system. Vitamin D3 supports bone, teeth, and muscle health. And vitamin B12 helps convert food into cellular energy. And I'm also taking chlorophyll drops every single morning. I drop 15 drops into my water. When you're putting your water, your juice, whatever you're drinking in the mornings, you drop 15 drops in it every day. It's an internal deodorizer, so it gets rid of any toxins, any odor that you may have going on inside and outside the body. So you apply 15 drops in your liquid, whatever you're drinking in the morning, and just go about your day. Also, you should be taking probiotics, ladies, for your gut health and for your lady parts as well to make sure it's intact. When you eat fruits in the morning, I eat fruits almost every morning, whether it be banana, grapes, strawberry, apple, pineapple. Eating fruits just because you have a appointment you know what I mean. Just because you have an appointment, you want to hurry up and eat pineapples. No. 
eat pineapples for any other time as well other than the, that appointment that you may have you also take cranberry pills if you don't if you're not the type that type that likes pills you can drink the cranberry juice i drink cranberry juice every day in the mornings when i'm eating my breakfast and for the rest of the day i will just drink pure water but drink cranberry it helps with your urinary tract health and it prevents uti another thing the vagina should not be smelling like roses and flowers and blossom and cherries your vagina is a organ it's going to smell like a vagina what it shouldn't be smelling like is fish or any foul odor so you notice that something is off down there and it's not smelling like how it's normally supposed to smell get it checked out but the vagina is a vagina you're going to have your natural smell it shouldn't be strong and it shouldn't be unpleasant it is supposed to be smelling like your vagina so what i use when i'm using the restroom what i use to wipe down there is baby wipes i use water wipes that's the only wipes i use down there and i know sometimes we can be a little bit lazy or want to hurry up and use the restroom get out so we use tissue instead that's another thing because tissue doesn't actually get rid of the pee or whatever you use it just smudges all over your lady parts and your behind so you're not actually cleaning there so make sure that you have baby wipes on deck wherever you go to clean your lady parts wipe it i use baby wipes first whenever i pee or poo then i will go in with tissue to dry those areas because you don't want any excess moisture down there because moisture cause odor so you want to make sure down there is as dry as possible and for my girlies who having regular discharge is normal as well that shows that your vagina is cleaning itself if you don't have discharge something is wrong because your vagina should be cleaning itself which causes discharge to happen so if you don't feel comfortable with discharge touching your underwear you can use panty liners i use panty liners sometimes especially when i'm ovulating because there's extra extra discharge coming out so i will use panty liners on my underwear and change it throughout the day because like i said that's moisture and moisture will cause odor so you want to make sure that you change all those panty liners throughout the day whenever you feel like it's time whenever i'm going to bed i don't wear underwear except for when i'm on my period i will wear underwear because i wear nothing but pads i don't wear tampon on those stuff i use pads so that so that i could stick it on my underwear but when i'm not on my period i don't wear underwear today because i like to let my vagina just breathe throughout the night you don't you don't want it to suffocate let's imagine holding your nose for a long period of time that's how our vagina feels sometimes when we have tight clothing on so you want to make sure that it's at least breathing through the night water drink water drink at least four to five bottles of, bottles of water a day if you find it hard to drink just plain water you can put lemon you can put cucumber that's what i do because i find it really hard to drink just plain water so i would just cut some slices of lemon put it in it or put some cucumbers anything that will motivate you to drink water you can buy the motivational drugs that will, that has the writing on them to tell you when and what time you should be drinking water but drink water if it helps flush out your system flush out your system helps with your bowel movement movement helps with your vaginal health anything inside it helps get rid of so please drink water your overall self-maintenance so if you wasn't putting yourself first now is the time you should be doing so so get your nails done at least once every two weeks if you can afford to get your nails done at least once every two weeks you can purchase personal nails as well that's what i do whenever I couldn't do my nails by myself. I now do my own nails at home, but when I couldn't do that, I used to purchase 
press on nails and it will last me like a week and a half so make sure you get your nails or if you don't you're not into nails just make sure your nails are properly groomed and kept every two weeks invest in some underwear cotton underwear and bras because cotton will make your girl breathe not just thongs i'm not saying you can't wear thongs you know lace all those stuff because it makes you feel sexy but you don't want to wear that all the time because like wearing thongs and g-strings is like you flossing your teeth and going back and forth whenever you move that string in your butt crack go back and forth so you're traveling the bacteria from your butt crack to your vagina and we don't want that we don't want no infection we don't want or lay the part or pH balance to be thrown off. If you wear the tongues every day, just minimize that a little bit and try some cotton underwear. Right now, I'm in the, the granny panties. The granny panties are it for me right now. And they look sexy on me. You might not into granny panties, but just make sure that most of your panties are cotton underwears. And for your bras, I'm sure you wash them every week. Don't let it, don't continue to use it and then, you know, months go by and it haven't been washed. Yeah, I know because I've done that before. So make sure that you wash your bras. Invest in some nightgowns. I'm talking PJ sets, robes, all that stuff. I know I have a black silk robe with some lace on it and I'll be walking around the house feeling like a sexy housewife. So make sure you, you invest in some good PJ set, matching PJ sets, robes, all that stuff. Get your hair done. Whether it be braids or wigs, get your hair done. If you can't afford to get your hair done as often, purchase a portable wig, put it on. You can watch YouTube videos on how to braid hair. Also, get yourself some candles. Um, you have Bath and Body Works. You have other candle stores where you can purchase candles. It smells good. I'm a girl that loves candles. Get you some candles, it will set the mood. Even when you're in the shower, light a candle. You're cooking, light a candle. You're in your bed watching TV, light a candle. Buy yourself some flowers. If you haven't already, start doing it right now. Get yourself some flowers. Don't wait on anyone's son or daughter to buy you some flowers. Get yourself some flowers. Go to the store. It's very cheap, like five, eight dollars. Go to a store, purchase you some bouquet of flowers, put it in your room, in your kitchen, your living room, dining area, wherever you want to put it. It starts within you. If you don't take care of yourself, no one else will. Just make sure you're taking, taking care of yourself both inside and out. Make sure you're feeling and looking good. Hey guys, that was it for my feminine hygiene and how to level up as a female. If you guys like this video, of course, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one.